In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the various changes that happened to competitive today. Two old weapons have been unvaulted and a bunch of changes to spawn rates have happened as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over exactly what all of these changes are and what they mean for competitive going into the future. Be sure to use code SonataYT if you guys do want to support me in the item shop. And without any further ado, let's hop into this video. Just for the record, I would like to keep this video kind of brief because I don't want this to drag on for too long. So the first big unvaulting is the unvaulting of the tactical shotgun in all game modes. It is has been in every single season leading up to chapter 2 season 4. Because we've gotten so used to the tactical shotgun, I guess Fortnite Competitive has decided to unvault it and put it back into all game modes. The tactical shotgun is a really good weapon if you guys don't have the best aim and you want to just kind of spray in your opponent's face and do a lot of damage in that way. But once again, all rarities have been unvaulted. The other weapon that has been unvaulted recently is called the infantry rifle. This rifle is arguably my favorite weapon in Fortnite history and you guys might remember it from all of these mongrel clips that you guys are seeing in the background. This item is one of the most skilled weapons that you need to learn how to use. It's very good if you guys have very good aim. It's essentially a tap to fire rifle that has first shot accuracy more than any weapon I have seen. And this weapon is a fan favorite in specifically competitive game modes and the last time it was in the game was Season X. So after a long time being held up into the vault, this weapon is now finally back in all game modes. The next change is going to be the chance of finding crafting parts in floor loot spawns. As of right now, Fortnite status has tweeted that they've doubled the chance of finding crafting parts in floor loot spawns again. If you guys remember, they did this at the beginning of the season and now they have done it double again. This is going to increase your chance of finding mechanical parts, bones, and a bunch of other floor loot spawns with crafting parts on the ground. This is not only going to make our early game a lot faster, but it's going to make it easier to upgrade to various different types of weapons. And as of right now, we don't really know how the upgrading system is going to look in terms of infantry rifles and tactical shotguns. But what we do know is that it's going to be a lot easier to get pumps if you guys want to use those. The next big change has to do with mechanical parts. As you guys know, mechanical parts are arguably the most important thing to have this season. Those are the items that are going to get you those purple and legendary pumps. You're going to be able to get those easier because mechanical parts spawn rate drops have increased from cars 50%. That means when you guys are farming a car, it's much more likely that you guys are going to be getting mechanical parts from it. This is really good, especially for drop spots that don't have too many cars because you guys can easily get way more. This is going to help a lot of players very easily get pump shotguns and it'll level the playing field in terms of weapons. As you guys know, off spawn fights right now are very RNG based and this is going to eliminate a large portion of that. Especially if you land somewhere that has absolutely no cars at all, you can still get mechanical parts from various different items. Now the final change that has been instituted into all game modes is the improved loot chances for finding fishing spots, supply drops, and bunker chests, favoring the classic weapons over the primal and makeshift weapons. So right here Fortnite is basically saying that they want to try and favor those classic weapons in all of these loot drops, supply drops, and bunker chests. Now I don't necessarily know how this applies to the normal chests and the god chests, but I know that it's going to apply to supply drops and bunker chests greatly. This is going to give people a better chance of finding better loot inside of supply drops. This is also going to entice a lot of players to go for supply drops, and now there are going to be hotspots around the map where people are going to group up. There's going to be a lot of fighting happening around these supply drops, and it's going to encourage a lot of combat. In summary, the biggest changes are the unvaulting of the tactical shotgun in the infantry rifle, the doubling the chance of the crafting parts in floor loot, and the mechanical parts dropping from their cars increased by 50%, along with improved loot chances for fishing spots, supply drops, and bunker chests, favoring classic weapons over every other type. Alright guys, that is the video on exactly what the competitive changes have been as of Monday, May 3rd, 2021. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like down below in order to support the channel. Be sure to check out all of my socials that can be found in the description. But that's about it for this video guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.